<sighs> Dude, everybody's tired of Genshin and, and I'm still here farming artifacts for Eula. What a sad time this is. Let's be real. The reason why content creators and pretty much every player is taking a break from Genshin is because they have no content right now. Like, come on, we had Wind Trace, we had Rob Hunt, Mihoyo. You seriously have issues with keeping these events, do you? Anyway, I'm too tired of that and I've decided to play a different gacha game. And that being Counterside. And this game is pretty good. You got your lollies, you got your araaras, you got your tsundere's, and you got female Geralt of Rivia. Like, what can get better than that? They even gave her the same Butcher of Blaviken trope, like in the Witcher series. Now why should you play this game? Seriously, do I have to ask you one word? Waifus. Like look at this default lady with a rocket launcher. She can destroy your house and still be cute. And look at this girl with glasses holding a Gao 17, like it's a guitar. Look at it, isn't, isn't, that, isn't that awesome? Look at that! In all seriousness, I'm really liking this game and I might make videos on it. Not guide videos, but just me talking about the game. Because I'm not spending money on two games and hope and hope to get views on both. Okay, I just want one game and play that, make guides on it, and another game just to, you know, vent out and get out some stress and play some games, you know? Right, for this game, I'm not gonna tell you any guides or whatever. I'll just tell you what's up in this game and which waifus to pick, I guess, to make the best out of your beginner phase. And make sure that you don't look like an idiot like me when I started playing the game. Alright, so you have your operations tab where you can pick and choose which mission type you want to do. You got your squad tab where you can manage your teams and ships. Your gauntlet, which is PvP. I suck at this right now because I have no clue what to build yet. Your recruit, which basically means wishes. Your dive tab, which is basically idle farming or expedition missions, where you just pick a unit and a, uh, where you just pick a squad and then just leave it there and then get it later and then get it later. But it does have some good mat farming missions on its own, like you can do these and that. And your HQ, where you can level up your units by negotiating their salary, the hangar for making leveling up your ships, the workshop for making gears and parts as well as leveling them up also and the lab which is basically for ascension and buffing your units who to pick and build in this game now counterside isn't really pay to win or ssr to win it still has some brain to win inside it actually since there's no clear meta aside from some select units that are generally always used and those units aren't even ssr units they're sr and r units so it all depends on how you mix and match your teams. Like my team right now has two fighters with high evasion, one solid defender, a ranger just for the for shooting air units, one sniper and one support, as well as two two of these sneaky boys. <laughs> because I want Wong and Shao dead before they can even deploy anywhere. It's it's all still trial and error for me, but I pretty much get the gist of it, which is if the majority is picking this unit find a counter to that unit and make sure that your front line is solid enough to hold out until that meta unit is taken care of you know like i said there's no solid meta right now since it just came out and all that there are cheese strats <laughs> with wong and xiao that can easily be taken care of with proper experimenting and proper use of units i have no idea what else to show you guys so i might as well just show you all the waifus here so lobby right you have all these waifus and stuff you can click all you can click on all of them and you can change these by pressing your profile then click here and then change your sets like load this one load this one and you got this one all that jazz you got this waifu carrying a huge gatling gun she's actually a meta pick <laughs> right now ssr uh, an sr unit is a meta pick it, there, it isn't just uh, female characters in this game. You have you have dudes in armor like this, and this guy, big Among Us looking character. And you have tanks. You have a mouse tank looking thing from Germany, and uh, I don't know what this is. I don't use them yet uh, because, well, waifus, right? It's all up to you, but there's going to be generally two or three units that is supposedly the best units for PvP, like. You have this girl because she pushes a lot of units away. 
and she's very easy to build since she's SR and you have you have this unit here she's a healer she's the cheapest healer that you can get and you won't need anything else if we're talking about heals so you can focus more on damage and buffs then you have this one unit which is actually not a female where is it you have this unit you have this unit right here this is my favorite unit right now because this guy can deploy anywhere and you can put them inside the enemy's base and kill their snipers and all that make sure that they won't be able to deploy them anytime soon and that and it's a pretty good harass char uh, harassment character as well keeping the snipers at bay and keeping the supports <laughs> very well annoyed because of because they can deploy anywhere and your default units also let's talk about your default units this unit has really good damage and she can target all you all units as well because some units here can only attack ground and attack air and all that sometimes people can shoot both it's a pretty good unit good damage and when you level her up you get more damage and more damage and there you go attack increased by 10% after skill and until death that means like she gets a lot of attack until she dies and you have this one which is Geralt of Rivia like I, like I told you Geralt of Rivia and she has a skin as well it's pretty awesome I'm planning to build her more because of that shield and I'm thinking of making her a frontline tank and all that it, it's all it's experimenting trial and error this guy though this guy can deploy anywhere and you can also kill the snipers and supports with him and what's great about him is because is when he is deployed and once you deploy them they automatically use their special skill this is his skill which is counter attack ignores damage from hit stunning special skills and shoots a spirit sword inflicting aoe damage and stuns targets for 1.5 seconds this is really great if you want to go in the enemy's base and kill their snipers and their rangers right away like I, I used him once or twice and then Wong just died that, that, that simple so meta won't be much of a problem because it's if it, if it is shifting to one meta then you can always find a way around it but I guess that's gonna be it for the PvP and that's also gonna be it for this video I up I might upload my main team I guess and I don't know maybe a counter pick video for Xiao and Wong in a few days after playing more PvP and experimenting, uh, I don't expect too much. Apart from some oohs and ahs from me, and how I like this unit, how I like that unit. Anyway, like and sub if you want to be Ju Xiong's buttons. Like, look at those buttons. Actually, there are no buttons. It's just, it's just a belt. Like and sub if you want to be Ju Xiong's belt. Keeping that and keeping that uniform together, right? Comment below if you have any ideas, I guess, on how this game might be. Alright, that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.